Welcome to another Wise Guys tutoring video and we're continuing our series in the BA2 Plus Calculator series and we're going to look at the cash flow function to calculate a net present value. So we're going to look at the cash flow function and the net present value function of the calculator. Now, when you have a cash flow question, the important thing to do is to set up your timeline. So that's the first thing you have to do is set up your timeline. So we need to read through the question and set up our timeline based on the information from the question. The startup cost for a new product will require the outlay of $700,000 today and another $700,000 in one year. The product will hit the market in the beginning of year three and produce profits of $400,000 at the end of each of the next five years. The company will sell the product at the end of the five-year production run for $300,000. If the company's rate of return is 12%, should you go ahead and produce the product? All right, so if we go back to the top, the startup cost requires to pay $700,000 today and another $700,000 in one year. Now, uh, the product will not hit the market until the beginning of year three and produce profits of $400,000 for the next five years. And, oh, at the end of each of the next five years. The company will sell the product at the end of the five-year production for $300,000, so we're going to sell it at the end for $300,000. If the company's rate of return is 12%, should you go ahead and produce the product? Okay. So, let's draw a timeline. First thing is, is it says today we have to pay out 700000 And then in one year we have to pay out another 700000 Okay, so I'm using negatives because they're outflows of money. Now, we have to remember that the product will not reach the market until the beginning of year three. So, nothing is going out. There's no money going out in year two and no money coming in in year two. And then early in year three, so right about here somewhere, this is where the product will hit the market and then we will produce profits of 400000 for the next five years. So for year three, year four, year five, year six, and year seven, we will produce profits of 400000 So our timeline should look something like this. So we're going to pay $700,000 out today, another $700,000 out in one year. Uh, then we're just going to develop the product for that year. So then uh, there's nothing coming in, nothing going out at the end of the second year. Early in the third year, the product hits the market, produces profits of $400,000 for five years in a row. So one, two, three, four, five. And then at the end of the five years, we'll sell it for $300,000. So then we get another 300000 here at the end, so we're actually getting 700000 Okay. Now, to do this on the calculator, you push the CF button. It's right next to the second function. You do not have to press the second function. You can just go ahead and push the CF button. Then, uh, to make sure that there's no old data to corrupt the new data, you go second clear work. Clear work is the CEC button down in the bottom left corner, so you go second clear work. Now, CF0 means what did we do today? So let me just turn the calculator sideways here for a second. So what we did today is we paid out 700000 so we want to type that in then hit the plus minus button to change it to a negative and then the enter button. Have to remember this plus minus button because remember this is a negative payment. Then it goes to CO1 
CO1, we paid out another 700000 So again, 700000 negative, enter, down. F stands for frequency, so how many times in a row did that happen? So this was CF0 here, this is CO1. As you can see, it only happened once. So FO1 automatically comes up one. After you hit the enter button for CO1, FO1 automatically comes up as one. So we can just push the down arrow and go to CO2. Now for CO2, that's where the zero is. So the zero here, this is CO2, and that only happened once. So we type in the zero, enter, down arrow. Uh, enter is already on your screen, so you can just hit the enter button, down arrow, and then it only happened once, so you can just push the down arrow to go to CO3. Now, at CO3, that's where we start making the 400,000, and we do that one, two, three, four. We do that four times in a row. So we type in the 400,000, hit the enter button, then the down arrow. So 400,000, enter, down, and then we get to the FO3, and we said that that was one, two, three, four times. So if we actually type in four, and then enter. This tells your calculator that the 400,000 happened four times in a row. Then we go to the last one, CO4, and this is the last one over here, this is the 700,000. So 700,000, enter, down arrow, and that happened just once, so we just leave that as one. Once we're done, we then hit the NPV button. NPV button's right next to the CF button. You just go ahead and hit that. It's not a second function. You can just hit the NPV button. And what comes up is I. This is our rate of return. So, the rate of return, rate of return was 12%. So for I, we type in the 12, enter, the down arrow. This brings us to NPV. This stands for net present value. And what your calculator will do is it'll take all the information in the cash flow and turn it into a present value amount. So, but you've got to hit the compute to do that. So what you do is hit compute and it'll take all the information in the cash flow function and change it to a present value. So I just hit compute. I get a negative answer. I get negative $39,813.03 since it's a 028. The 8 rounds the 2 up to 3 cents. Now, when you're computing net present value, what you want is a zero or positive answer. So if this happens, you get a zero or positive answer, you say yes. If you get a negative answer, then you say no. Our answer was negative $39,813.03. So should the company go ahead with this product? No, we should not produce this product. All right. So that is the cash flow function and the net present value function of your calculator. This has been another presentation of the Wise Guys Tutoring Videos. If you have any problems, you can get a hold of Ron Hamerling in the Learning Assistance Center. Thank you, and have a good day.